So the next person I'm going to interview is Magdalena Kelly. She's the leading female hypnotist in America. And this is her Instagram account. She's been, hypno uh, she's been doing hypnosis. She's a master hypnotist, uh, hypnotist for a very, very long time. And uh, you can see over here all the clients she's worked with. She's worked with celebrities. She's worked with athletes. She's worked with people to get to peak performance. So if, if getting peak performance is something you want, if you've, you've got any mindset blocks that you want to, you know, to scale your business or any mindset blocks that are hindering you from success, then she's definitely the person to go for. Okay. So she's, she's got a lot of PR articles, um, a lot of, she's, she's been featured in some music videos, um, tons of clients, tons of success stories, got people who are literally celebrities um, approaching her to help them to fix their um, mindset, their physiology, etc. Okay. So this interview is going to be very, very interesting. And I'm looking forward to it. And I'm sure you get a lot of value. And if you like it, make sure you like this video, um, comment and um, share this video with as many people as you know. What's up? This is Elric Ong, and today I'm here with the leading female hypnotist in America. Her name is Magdalena Kelly, and uh, today she's going to hypnotize you, and she's going to share her secrets about hypnotism, and uh, <laughs> I mean, she's a business owner herself, that's why I'm interviewing her. So, what's up, Magdalena? Welcome to the show. How are you? Thank you for having me. Excited to be here. Great. Maybe you could share a little bit more about your entrepreneur entrepreneurship journey. How do you start becoming a hypnotist, and then how do you get all the press releases and everything that you're getting right now? So I started, uh, I became a hypnotist after being a hypnosis client. Um, I used to be a professional dancer. Um, 2007, I had a really bad knee accident, which ended my career. I had a contract with the West End. I couldn't go and it was terrible. And I tried a lot of different things to get over this depression, to get over being sad that I can't do the, you know, love the job of my life anymore. It was terrible. I was really, really sad and nothing really helped me until I got hypnotized. So this was the first time I got in touch with hypnosis. And then the second time, many, many years later, I already started to be a life coach and a success coach. And I had a lot of success. I was being very happy because of that first hypnosis. Um, and then I was married. I moved to LA and then I got divorced. So this was the second thing that was like a big impact in my life. And again, I was like, oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So again, I got hypnotized. And again, it helped me so much. And then I became friends, really good friends with the hypnotist who's an incredible young guy. He's, he's just 22. He's, he's going to be the next Tony Robbins, incredible talent. And he told me, you know what, Maggie, I think you would be good at this as well. And I was like, no, like I can coach and I, I love hypnosis, but I can't do it. And he was like, no, I think you would be good at this. So he started teaching me. And then I, I, I learned from other mentors and I started studying and learning and practicing. And he was right. I turned out to be really good. It was literally a um, coincidence. I turned out to be really, really good. And then, um, I added hypnosis to my coaching, uh, to my coaching uh, as a tool, but eventually it, I got so busy with the hypnosis that I most, that I turned into only doing hypnosis, um, helping many, many people. And so I'm a huge fan of what I do because I get it done myself. And uh, this is how it all started. Yeah. So how do you get all the press releases that you got so many um, mentions in the media? How do you get all the publicity that you're getting? Just the same way you ask me for an interview. People will just send me a DM or ask me, or maybe someone knows me. Um, another friend of mine who's a real estate agent, she recommended me to Brittany Ferlin. Maybe you know her. I just had a podcast with her. She's um, uh, Tommy Lee Jones's wife. Um, huge advocate in mental health. Huge following, I think two and a half million. And she was looking for a hypnotist. So my friend recommended me and said, Maggie, uh, send her a message. And I did, and she saw it. And then she invited me on the podcast and I hypnotized her. And um, I don't really know. I think if you just work really hard and you stay consistent, because this is mostly the difference between successful and non-successful people, to stay consistent, right? It's what you do. Never give up. Get up in the morning. Text those people. Invite people, right? Connect. Um, and if you're consistent, these things just slowly but surely come to you. Wait, yeah. so you hypnotize her during the podcast itself? Like, through a podcast, you, you hypnotize her? Yes, but, but this was a podcast in person. We both had a negative COVID test and I and she lives in Calabasas, not far from me. So I actually saw her in person. Uh, she fights a lot with anxiety. She fights a lot with panic attacks. She has a huge fear of dying. Mm -hmm. She will literally wake up and her heart will beat and she's afraid she's going to die. 
So we worked on that a little bit and she has some OCD things too. And um, it's just the big, it's a big issue nowadays. You know, a lot of people, also a lot of young people have anxiety. They're afraid of, you know, what's going to happen in the future. They're, they're, they're afraid to fail, to not be successful because, you know, we have a lot of pressure especially for us women, you know, Instagram, all of that. You see all these beautiful girls. Mm -hmm. You wake up in the morning, you look like shit. You open your phone and you see these beautiful girls and you're like, damn, damn. And uh, I mean, I'm 33 now, but I imagine if I would be younger, if I would be 15, 16, it might, you know, it might mess me up. It might give me some kind of pressure that I should not have. Because mm -hmm. when you're 16, you're not supposed to look like a top model. You're supposed mm -hmm. to look like a young girl, like a young boy, you know? Yeah. Um, so I think it's good that we, that mental health becomes a bigger topic because a lot of people struggle with it. Got it. So I realize mindset is also super important for entrepreneurship. Like a lot of the clients I've coached, I mean, I've coached over a thousand, four hundred clients on marketing and sales. And I try not to be the Tony Robbins kind of guy. I try not to be the mindset kind of guy. I try to stay in my lane, which is like marketing and sales. But I realize that a lot of people, like they don't dare to create a video. They don't dare to create a webinar. They don't dare to get on social media because of a lot of like limiting beliefs, you know, fear of rejection. So have you ever helped any clients who are entrepreneurs who have some form of mindset blocks and how do you help them? Everybody has those. The people that are very successful, they're afraid that this is it. They're like, what next? What next? The people that are not really successful, of course, are like, can I do it? Can I do it? So the brain does two things. The mm -hmm. brain goes to what it knows, which is old habits. That's why we always end up with the same relationships, kind of. It's always the same. The brain goes to what it knows. And the second thing is the brain goes to what it thinks it deserves. So if you're not making enough money, if you have resistance to sales, it actually means you don't truly believe you can do it. Mm -hmm. You don't truly believe you deserve it. You don't truly believe your product is worth it. Mm -hmm. So what I tell and what I teach um, my clients is a lot of people that start a business or that want to sell a product or whatever it is in life, they always ask themselves, how, how can I make more money? How can I be more successful? How, how, how? But this is the wrong question. What you should ask yourself is why? Why am I doing what I'm doing? Why are you doing what you're doing? You want to help other people become successful, right? You yeah. have knowledge and you want to share it. You want to help others. You know tips and tricks. You're mm -hmm. like, damn, I want to share them so that others maybe save time or they don't make the same mistakes I had to do. Because a lot of people that teach, teach out of experience and they made a lot of mistakes so we are helping others to skip those mistakes to save time to not go through the same bs right mm -hmm. through the failure and um you have to start you to ask yourself why are you doing the things you do where does your love your passion come from and if you have the answers then the how comes naturally every time i did a job and i had many, many different careers and i would ask myself why am i doing it the answer would be uh because it's good money uh, because my friends are doing it, uh, because I just got hired, whatever, somehow I ended up here. That's not a good answer. And then it's no wonder I don't blow up. Now, if people ask me, why do you do hypnosis? I'm like, blah, 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 blah. I love this. I love that. It's so much fun. This and, you know, I have my whys. I have my whys. Mm -hmm. I would die for what I do. I have to wake up at 5 a.m. No problem. I have to work 10 days in a row. No problem. I need oh. to fly to Malaysia right now because it's a cool seminar. No problem. In other jobs, people are like, uh, damn I've, you know mm -hmm. so until you don't answer the question why with a good answer and you really know why mm -hmm. then no wonder that the how is complicated if you have a good answer to your why the how comes naturally because if you know why you do the things you do you'll find ways how to do them and how to be successful so what are some, uh, okay so first of all is it possible to hypnotize someone through a video have you ever hypnotized someone from a youtube video is that possible uh, I haven't done it from a YouTube video. I haven't done it from a recording. I have an co online course. Um, some people said it was great, but I hypnotize people through FaceTime or Zoom. I have online sessions with people out of country or, or uh, out of state or uh, East Coast, West Coast. Um, so yeah, it does work, especially if you've been hypnotized before, especially in person and you remember how it was. It's very easy to reproduce that through the screen. Got it. And what are some tips that you have? Like, okay, let self-hypnosis is also possible, right? So if someone is watching this video and let's say they have some mental blocks or some limiting beliefs, how will you help them to overcome them? Through a video? You uh, mean? Yeah, through a video, it, let's say. So the brain does not know the difference between reality and very strong imagination. Mm -hmm. So if you imagine things very, very strongly and you really get into envisioning yourself being successful, but it's not just seeing yourself, it's also feeling. How would it feel when I'm, rich how would it feel when i'm truly happy how would it feel when i 
when I'm not afraid to talk to the hottest girl in the room, I just go out, walk up to her and say, hi, how does it feel? And once you implement this feeling and this vision, your brain thinks it just happened or your brain doesn't know the difference. Your brain thinks this is part of your reality. So this is how you reprogram your brain to then do those things more often because they become normal. So through a video chat, I pretty much tell those people, imagine this, imagine this, notice how you feel, imagine you feel this. And the better they do that, they, the better the hypnosis works and the results are incredible. Okay, so, so let's say if you have five minutes, okay, is, is it possible for me to get hypnotized in the next five minutes? Yeah, absolutely. If you want okay. to, sure. <laughs> but what would you like to be hypnotized for? Um, I want to have more, I want to be able to, I want to dare to charge high ticket. Say again? I want to dare to charge high ticket prices for my coaching. So like all this while I've been oh. coaching a lot of clients, but I'm charging like $500, $2,000. I want to learn how to charge $10,000 and, and dare to okay. charge $2,000. Yeah. So, so you have a little resistance to sales, yeah. a little uh, resistance to money mindset. But see, this means that you don't truly believe you deserve it. Do you know your product is good? Yes. Do mm -hmm. you know you're a great coach? Yes. Do you know if people tell you, pay you $10,000, you will help them to make a million dollars? Yes. So why would it you depends. charge, right? The first two, yes. The second one, I have a little bit of resistance. It depends on the client <laughs> and the stage of business they're in and how well they can execute, yeah. But if someone would pay you $10,000, would you, can you guarantee you would give them incredible results? If they have at least $1,000 in ad spend, definitely, 100%. See? Yeah. See? So charge it. You deserve it. Okay. All right. Um, make yourself comfortable. Okay. Start breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Nice and deep. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Nice and deep. One more time. In through your nose, out through your mouth. One more time, out through your mouth. When I say the word sleep, you're not gonna go to sleep, but your eyes are gonna close, your body's gonna relax, and whatever happens, just let it happen and just follow the sound of my voice. You can leave your eyes open for now, but continue to breathe like that. Okay. And I want you to imagine. Okay, I'm just gonna do it together kind of review. Okay, yeah, keep going. <laughs> breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. And I want you to imagine that your eyelids are so heavy and so relaxed that you cannot open them. Imagine your eyelids are almost stuck as if they're glued together, so heavy and so relaxed until you allow yourself to just sleep all the way down, all the way deep, just sinking, just drifting. Perfect, just like that, letting go of any fears and any worries, completely relax. Now I want you to imagine yourself in front of a mirror and in front of this mirror, you see yourself as the perfect version of yourself. You're strong, you're successful, your confidence is a 15 out of 10. You have no resistance to money. You have no resistance to sales. Every person you meet is a potential client. Every person you see is an opportunity to make money. You are so confident and so proud of your product, of being a coach, that you have no problem charging 10,000, 15,000. You offer the biggest package deals. It is so easy for you to charge because you believe and you know deep inside of yourself that your product is amazing. Look at yourself in the mirror. You're wearing an amazing suit, you're having an expensive watch, you smile, you're proud, you're successful. Your confidence is a 15 out of 10. Your motivation is a 15 out of 10. Your pride and your self-belief is a 15 out of 10. And I want you to step inside that mirror, walk into that mirror and notice how you become one with this person. Take a deep breath in, inhale and notice how you merge with that person, how you become one with the successful entrepreneur the best coach, the best sales coach, the best marketing coach. You are the best in your field and you always knew it, but now you remember and now you feel it. Now, when you're going to open your eyes, you're going to be full of energy, completely confident, high of motivation, high of love, high of compassion and high of this pure feeling of joy and happiness. So three, two, one, eyes open back to me. Wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. Oh, that felt good, man. Yeah. <laughs> I feel very bright now, like a uh, very, like I'm full of aura right now. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. <laughs> Wow, that was, that was really good. Good job. Yeah, you did great. Look at your smile. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that, that was good, man. Well, if anyone wants to try that out, you should definitely go look for Magdalena. Um, okay, <laughs> tell them about your social media handles. How can they follow you? And uh, uh, how can they experience something like that as well? Yes, obviously, I'm on all social media. My social, uh, social media name is Magdusia, M-A-G-D-U-S-H-Y-A. 
It's the same for my TikTok uh, Clubhouse, which is a big, uh, huge thing right now. Clubhouse, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, all of those platforms. Uh, website is my full name, MagdalenaCali.com. Um, I also have an online course on there. I believe it's 47 bucks right now. So it's pretty cool to check it out. Um, just send me a message. I look through all my DMs. I'm always happy to hear from you guys. Um, yeah. Guys, Let make me sure know. you follow always her. Happy make sure to you look for her. And are you, are you allowing any like free sessions on your calendar or something like that? Uh, so yeah, when you sign up for my when you sign up for my Calendly link, you sign up for a thirty minute phone call where I explain to you what I do and we find out if we're a good fit and if I can help you. That's for wow. free, absolutely. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. All, All right. right, and you're gonna let me know uh, when you close your first deal, your first ten thousand dollar deal, and then oh, in, in, in the next ten days. I, I closed five thousand dollars yesterday and the day before, but uh, okay, I'll close Very ten thousand dollars the next time. The next yeah. one is ten k. Send me a message. Yeah, and I'll be more than happy to help you do marketing as well for your own, <laughs> own stuff. Yeah. We can definitely call Thank you so much. This. All right. Uh, <laughs> for those of you who enjoyed this video, make sure you like this um, video, um, comment, and reach out to Magdalena if you want to get hypnotized and share this with as many people. I think this was an amazing experience. Thank you so much, Magdalena, for being on the show. Thank and you I so hope, much. I hope all of you enjoyed. Thank you.